Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this infinity scarf. You can use it as a cowl or a longer scarf, a neck warmer even if you make it shorter. On my scarf I done 30 of these two rows. It's a really easy two row repeat. You do the two UK treble crochets and your two chain and your next row is all treble crochets. Uh, actually it goes this way. And I done 30 sets of the two rows so that's 60 single rows all together and it's 30 when you count it as the two row repeat. You can make it longer, you can make it into a, just a long scarf and put a fringe on it if you want. I've made it into this infinity scarf like a, a neck cowl. You can put this around your neck, keep your shoulders warm, your neck warm. It's easy, you can never find where, where the the fold is. I'll show you how to do this infinity fold where you've got this fold, <laughs> a fold in it, where you've got the fold in it. It makes a beautiful effect on the neck cowl. So it's really easy. I've used a chunk of yarn. I've got a little bit left. I've used a hundred and just, just under two balls of this Carnival Tweed Chunky Yarn by Stylecraft. You can use double knitting, you can use any yarn you want. I'm going to show you this. I've been making another one and this is really thin yarn. This one was in chunky and this one is a really thin, it's beautiful. It's a cashmere yarn and it's by Hobby, Hobby, Hobby. And with this one, I've been using a really small crochet hook. I've been using a 3.5 crochet hook because this yarn is quite thin. So you can use any yarn for it and look at the pattern in a thinner yarn. It's really, really pretty. It would make a beautiful shawl, a beautiful little blanket as well. If you wanted to do this in a blanket, you can use three ply baby yarn and do this as a, a little baby blanket it's really pretty it's beautiful but i've done it in the chunky and i've done it in this really thin yarn it doesn't actually tell you what it is it says it's 65 percent virgin wool and 25 percent polyamide 10 percent cashmere and i got this from my friend bernie and in a happy meal and I've been hanging on to it and hanging on to it just to find a nice stitch and she sent me a picture of one of these that she had made and I thought perfect for that beautiful ball of yarn this is a 200 gram ball and I think I might actually be able to get two out of it because it is a thinner yarn so there's a lot more in that ball than the chunky the thicker the yarn the less yarn there is in the ball because it's heavier and this is really pretty look at this one i really like that so today i'm going to show you how to make this a beautiful stitch into a neck cowl or a scarf anything that you want to do it in so to do this little block stitch, you need your chain done in sets of four. So I'm going to do a slip knot and if you don't know how to do a slip knot, just tie your yarn onto your hook. And I'm going to do my little scarf in sets of four stitches. One, two, three and four. Don't do it too tight. One, two, three four one two three four so what you're going to do now is you're going to add an extra two stitches that's one and two those extra two stitches help to make your first chain and it stops you from taking the stitches out your stitch count so into the fourth stitch count one two three and four into the fourth stitch in your chain you're going to do a uk treble crochet 
If you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. So yarn into that four stitch, pull through, you've got three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops. And you'll notice that you have two treble crochets now. So that's where those two extra stitches went in to help to make that first treble there without taking away from your stitch count. When I did my infinity blanket, I started with the space row first and I'll finish on a full treble crochet row. And that way when I sew it together, the pattern will stay the same. So I'm going to chain two, one and two. I'm going to skip two stitches, one, two, and then I'm going to do a treble crochet into the next stitch and one into the next stitch. So treble crochet into that third stitch there. So we skip two and that's your third stitch. And one into the next stitch. So you've got one little block made. You've got two here. Chain two, skip two, two treble crochets. So you're going to chain two, skip two stitches and then do two treble crochets all the way along. So that's one and two. Chain two, one, two, skip two, one, two, and then you'll do two treble crochets into the next two. One treble crochet into the next stitch and one into the next stitch. So we're skipping two, then treble crochet, treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, one, two, skip two, and then do two treble crochets. One into that stitch and one into the next stitch. All the way along, and you should finish on two treble crochets. And this is what you get. You get all these little blocks all the way along. So chain two, one, two, skip two, and two treble crochets. So I'll work my way along to the end and you work your way along to the end of yours and you should finish your last two stitches on a treble crochet and a treble crochet. So I'm at the end. I've done my chain two. I've got four stitches left. So I'm going to skip one, skip two and these last two stitches I'll put a treble crochet in. One into each stitch. It's one. Yarn over into the next stitch. And that is to catch the two strands of the stitch. And this is what you have. You've got this long line. Like this. I've got nine sets of four on my little infinity scarf. So we're going to chain two, one, two, only chain two at the ends. It's chunky yarn, so it makes your stitches quite big anyway. So into the next stitch, do not go into the bottom here. Go in above this treble crochet here. You're going to do one treble crochet. Into that one. Right above that second one. Now into the chain space you're going to put two treble crochets. Get some more yarn. So one into the chain space and one more. Then you'll put one treble crochet on top of that one, one on top of that one and two into the space. Then one treble crochet, one treble crochet and two into the space all the way along. So one into the top of that one. One into the top of your next stitch. Then two into the chain space. Two UK treble crochets. And if you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. 
one into the next stitch, one into the next stitch, then two into the chain space all the way along. So at the end, you just put one treble crochet into the top of that one and one treble crochet into that chain, into the top of the chain. You might just have to put your hook right through. And that's the two rows you'll keep repeating. So this is what you have. So you're going to chain two, one, two and turn. Now into the next stitch you'll put a treble crochet. You're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to repeat that bottom row. Skip two stitches, so skip one, two and do a treble crochet into the next one and a treble crochet into the next one. One treble crochet into that stitch one into the next stitch. So you'll be keeping your two treble crochets in line with these two. You're going to chain two, one and two, get some more yarn, skip two, one, two and then do two treble crochets. Skip two and then a treble crochet into that stitch and a treble crochet into the next stitch. So you're going to be repeating that row there. Chain two, one, two, skip two, one, two, and then do a treble crochet and a treble crochet. Now these are the two rows you'll keep repeating. So I've done my last chain two, I'm going to skip two, I'm going to do a treble crochet into that stitch. Try and get two parts of the stitch when you go through it. It gives a neater finish. Now that's my little chain of two, so right into the very top of there, I'm going to do a treble crochet. Just push your hook through through that stitch and you've got your two treble crochets. Chain two, one, two, turn your work around and now we're going to do the row of all the treble crochets. So into your next stitch across you do a treble crochet. Then two into the chain space. One, and two. Now this is what you'll do until your scarf is as long as you need it. So one into the next stitch. One into the next stitch. Then two into the chain space. One and two. You'll just keep repeating those two rows, the two treble crochets and two chain, and then the one where you're putting all treble crochets in, until you've got this. So I've got mine's done to the length that I want. I've done 30 sets of the two rows. So it's 60 rows all together. Each row is two, so I've got 30 sets of these. I finished on a treble crochet row. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave enough to stitch my scarf together. I'm going to pull it through my last stitch. Now you saw the pictures at the beginning, you can either leave it as a straight scarf or you can do it into that infinity one with the twist in the middle. I'm going to pull that through there and that's that finished off like this. Now to do it into the infinity, 
I've got this end, this is the end I'm going to sew. So I've got it all straight out like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this end and this end and just turn it. So you end up with like a peak on this side. And what that's going to do, it's going to put that twist inside your scarf. So I'll show you that again. I'm only going to put the one twist in this one. So you take, fold it in half like this. So you've got your scarf open. Just fold it in half. You can do this with any length of scarf that you have. Now the reason I finished on the treble crochet is so that when I sew it, look at that, the pattern just looks the same. So take this end and what you're going to do is take the top and just bring it down to the bottom, flip it over. So I'm just flipping the top and the bottom over like this. I'll turn it this way and then I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew back and forward these two edges together. I've got a darning needle somewhere. There it is. I've got a big darning needle. I'll come in a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll just take it stitch for stitch and go in to that first stitch here. Pull it in. Now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go through that top stitch and through that second stitch like that, just pull it in, then I'm going to go through the next stitch and through one that's in that chain of two. I'm just going to stitch it and that should stitch it flat in, go through the next one and then pick up the next stitch. I'll try and look come closer. So the next stitch, pick up the two loops of the next stitch and then go through the two loops of that treble crochet and then through the next one I'm just going to weave stitch for stitch the join on this. So I'll work my way along and I'll come back and show you when it's completely finished. So I've got a scarf sewed and it gives it that little twist the way we've sewed the edge and find the seam. <laughs> I can't find it. I can't find where I've sewed. There it is. So the, the seam, the way I've sewn it keeps the pattern running in the right direction for the way that I've done it. Don't sew it too tight along the edge. You don't want it all to crimp in. But look at it now. It's got that infinity. You can go around and around and around and not find the edge of this cowl. And look at that. It is so pretty. It's so pretty. And here's another couple of pictures. Leave it as a scarf or you can sew it together as a neck warmer, sort of neck cowl like this. And remember and just give that one edge top to bottom and then just turn it that way with one twist and you get this beautiful, beautiful scarf like this. Thank you very much for watching. Please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. Give us a try. It's a really great pattern. It's a great pattern for blankets as well. You don't need to do cowls and scarves. You can do shawls and blankets with this. It's really easy and it's really quick. So thank you very much for watching. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.